Hi, my name is Kevin Priestley, and today we're going to look at options for preparing your data for network analysis. In my map, I've got a couple data sets. One is a data set of street center lines, and the other is a data set of transit station locations in the city of Minneapolis. Now, I want to use this network to understand walking distance to and from transit stations in the city. And we have to massage and clean up this data just a little bit to get it to the state that we need to answer that question about walking specifically. You'll notice by looking at the map that we have a number of freeway segments, places where pedestrians are not permitted to walk. Well, in our data, we can use the F class attribute field to help omit that information from our map. And we can do that using definition queries. I'll add a definition query in this case from file. I created one previously, but all that's going on in this definition query is that we are omitting from display in our map features that have an attribute value of A63 and A10 stored in that F-class attribute field. And when we click OK, we'll see that those highway segments are no longer present in our data. The next step is understanding whether or not we have time attribute fields. We want to know how long it takes someone to walk an individual line segment and use that information in service area analysis later on. To add that information, we need to add a couple of fields to our data. The first field that we need to add is a length field, and the second is a time field. We'll have this length field be presented in feet. Our time field will be represented in minutes. We'll change our data type for both of these to double so we get some extra decimal places to work with. Save our changes. We can close out of our fields view and now calculate our length in feet using calculate geometry. We will use the geodesic length property, which is a more accurate way of defining length. And we'll define that using US survey feet in the coordinate system of the center lines data. And now we can calculate our time field. We'll use the field calculator to do this. We'll take that length field we just created and divide it by 264. That gives us the distance that the average person, 264 is the average distance in feet that the average person can travel in a minute. And so this literally represents the amount of time it would take the average person to travel every single line segment. From there, we're ready to start creating our network data set. We need to create a network data set within a feature data set so we can access our geo database and create a feature data set within that geo database. Our coordinate system that we will use is that of our center lines data. Now we need to get the data that will define our network into our feature data set. So we're going to export our Minneapolis street center line data. We'll browse to the location of our transit access folder and our walk MPLS feature data set. Exporting features in this way has the added benefit of persisting the definition query. So the output data will not include the freeway segments. And now we can create our network data set within the feature data set while including as a source feature class our center lines data for walking.
In this video, we've seen how to prepare our data for use in network analysis and how to create a network data set. Happy mapping.